We begin tonight with the latest on breaking news. We first brought you live at five. Mayor Jorge Alorza vetoes a controversial proposed zoning change that would allow a 46 story skyscraper to be built on the former 195 land. Good evening. I'm Steve Nielsen and I'm Shannon Heggie. The veto appears to lessen the chances that the Hope Point Tower will move forward, but it doesn't guarantee that the project is dead. I would assume reporter Steph Machado spoke with the mayor about his decision and she joins us now with the latest Steph. Well, Mayor Lorza's veto was celebrated by neighborhood groups, but criticized by some state and city leaders who want to see the Hope Point Tower built. His veto does not necessarily mean the project is dead. We took the step that we needed to take. Providence Mayor Jorge Lorza says he vetoed the ordinance for the Hope Point Tower for one big reason, design. For something that's going to reshape our skyline and our streetscape, you know, I got to make sure that it, it works for the city of Providence. Alorza says he wanted assurances in writing that the New York based Fane organization would give the city design approval over the skyscraper, which would be the tallest in the city. They didn't give me those assurances, and so I vetoed it. The ordinance he vetoed was a zoning change, allowing the maximum height to be raised for the parcel of former 195 land that Fane would purchase. I'm just shocked right now. City Councilman Michael Correa is one of nine who voted in favor of the zoning change last week. He says the project would bring jobs and economic development to the city. And I just find it, uh, you know, a little bit disheartening that, uh, uh, you know, he uh, vetoed it. The Providence Preservation Society applauded the mayor for, quote, putting the interests of the city above the interest of one developer. A spokesperson for that developer, Jason Fain, said Fain was disappointed in the mayor's decision, also writing in a statement, quote, his veto is an extraordinarily punitive action against this specific project and the economic development Hope Point represents. So there are two ways this project could stay alive. The city council could override the veto with 10 votes. As of last week, they had nine. Or the state legislature could take action to strip Providence of its zoning authority over the 195 land. Both the House Speaker and the Senate President support the tower project. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.